All right, so now let's start with the basics. I want you to understand at the start the basic elements inside each SQL statement. We have over here very simple select statements. Don't worry about the content. I will be explaining that later. So the whole text that's going to be sent to the database, we're going to call it SQL statements. Or sometimes we call it query if it is a select statement. So it doesn't matter whether you are retrieving data from database or creating a new table or updating contents. We're going to always call it SQL statement. OK, so now let's talk about the components inside our SQL statement. Let's start with the first line over here, the green one. We call it SQL comments. In the SQL comment, you could write anything you want. And once you hit execute for the whole SQL statement, the database just going to ignore it. That means nothing going to happen. There is some benefits of SQL comments. We could use it to describe our code. So later it's going to be easier to read it. And because the database is going to ignore it and nothing going to happen, we use it to deactivate part of our code. For example, if I don't want to use such a filter over here, I could make it as a comment and the database will not execute it. OK, so now SQL statements are usually divided into different parts. We call them clauses. Each part is responsible for specific action. In our example over here, we have three clauses, select, from, and where clause. And each of them has its own unique function. For example, in select, you're going to list the names of the columns that you want. In from, you're going to call the tables where you're going to define the filters. So as you can see, SQL is really nicely slitted after functions and which makes it really easy to read and easy to write and make the whole SQL language a very easy one. OK, so next, as you might already noticed, we have those blue words. We call them keywords. In our example, we have four keywords, select, from, where, and. Those keywords are predefined and reserved in SQL. That means you cannot use them as a table name or column name. In my SQL, we have over 900 keywords. We will not go through all of them. I'm just going to focus in the tutorials on the most used keywords. In the link in the description, you will see a list of all keywords that we have in my SQL. All right. OK, so now let's check the next element. We have identifiers. Identifiers are any name that you give to any object in your database. For example, a table name, a column name, even the database name itself, it is identifier. In our example here, we have four column names, first name, last name, country and score. And we have as well here a table name called customers. All of those stuffs, they are identifiers. All right, so now to the last element that we have, we call them operators. In SQL, there is many different operators. They have different shapes and forms. For example, they could be simples, like what we have here, equals, smaller, or they could be keywords, for example, and we call it as well an operator. So as I said, in SQL, there is different SQL operators, like there is arithmetic operators, plus and minus. There is comparison operators as our example, equal and smaller and so on. All right, so that was the basic elements inside SQL statements. So to run up over here, we have the whole text. We call it SQL statements. The green ones, we call it comments in SQL. We have different clauses, different parts. The blue one, they are the keywords. We have our names that we give in the database. We call them identifiers. And at the end, we have operators in our statements. All right, everyone. So with that, we have finished the first chapter of SQL course. We have now a lot of knowledge about the SQL basics and concepts. In the next chapter, we will start preparing your environment so we can start practicing SQL. And we will start by downloading and installing MySQL. And if you like this video and my work and you want to support the channel, then subscribe, like and comment. And in the video description, you will find a link to free SQL materials like the database and the data of this tutorial, the SQL sheet sheet and as well all the presentations. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next tutorial. Bye.